What's going on, y'all? We're back with another reaction video today. We got Elijah Higgins, wide receiver out of Stanford, 6'3, 235, 59 catches on the season, 704 yards, two touchdowns. They had him ranked as the 29th receiver in his class, according to Draft Buzz. It says 93, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, 93 quarterback rating when targeted. Uh, seems pretty solid overall. Intermediate routes seems to be his best. Um, decent blocking, decent at being a, a deep threat receiver. On a four four five five four five four forty, um, he had a high grade for him to be drafted in the sixth round, according to NFL's website. It had will eventually be a starter. Most of the other receivers drafted, I think, with this rating, typically were uh, guys who were drafted uh, in much higher rounds, second round, second round, third round. Got a fourth rounder, but everybody else. First, second, and third, a lot of ones. So, uh, according to NFL's website, they, they had high a high uh, potential rating for him. Um, I'm looking forward to see what what, what Miami picked up, man. Um, <coughs> interesting. It says NFL comparison is Jordan Reed. If I'm not mistaken, Jordan Reed was a tight end. I think he was a receiver that got switched to tight end, if I'm not mistaken. But I believe he was a tight end. Um, interesting. It says draft grades for Higgins could vary depending on how teams envision using him in their offense. While teams might see him as a big possession receiver with limitation, he appears to have necessary tools to become a dynamic F tight end. So they're looking at him as a tight end. That's it is interesting. It, is, uh, it caught me off guard. I ain't gonna lie. Um. Okay strengths big slot receiver with potential to become a pass catching tight end will rough up crowding coverage at the top of the route runs routes with ry rhythmic feet and well-timed breaks breaks out pattern with crisp cuts and tight angles consistently creates room to throw for quarterbacks has speed to attack the scene with success elusive after the catch with a runner's field vision gets into block with strong grasp and balanced base weaknesses the six receiving touchdowns in 40 career games below average push in his drive phase missing second gear to run down the deep throw catch radius and focus are very average slightly disappointing success rate catching through contact sources tell us i see him as a limited slot receiver who can't get open outside he's going to need to catch it better if he's going to make a living as a possession receiver okay <coughs> excuse me y'all uh, <clears throat> so shout out to ATG MVP sports highlights. Uh, it's only two minutes. Couldn't find a, uh, a longer highlight bid for him. So let's we'll see what he brings to the table. See what the Dolphins picked up. I know he lost Mike Gusecki. Mike definitely was a uh, receiving tight end. I'm not going to say he couldn't block or anything, but I definitely looked at him as a nice receiving tight end. Uh, he got picked up by the Patriots. It's going to be interesting to see how that works out. But uh, let's get to it, man. I'm, I'm I'm very curious if you know y'all. Let me know y'all. Let me know what's going on in camp. If, he, <coughs> if he's playing tight end or or receiver. Oh, okay. I know you played with uh Michael Wilson. That's a nice receiver right there. But Michael went to uh got, got picked up by the Cardinals. Okay, okay. I just have to run that back real quick to see what happened. Okay. Definitely out there out there playing receiver. Woo. Nice. Jump ball. Nice. Was the intention for Miami just to get a, a big body receiver? Wow. What they talking about? They, they said hit somebody his speed. You ran a 4 5. That's not bad at all. Got him on the end around. Okay, okay. Good catch. Good catch. 
for Portland has for Stanford. And McKee converts that third down with it. McKee lets it fly. It's caught. Oh, my gosh. Great catch. Play action. McKee, the California kid. Wide open. Wide open man across the third. McKee wants a jump ball to the side. Mm. Got him on the screen. I like that play. Of course, not not killer speed. Understandable, but uh, not insanely slow either. You know, I, I definitely see some uh some some talent there. Um, maybe that's why they gr graded him so high because they see him as a a uh. A valuable asset as a receiver, receiving tight end, but mm, you know, I can see, I can see, I can see him being like a John o. Smith, totally. Um, but I mean, when you got a guy that's like that, why not line him up a receiver as much as you can? You know, uh, maybe both, but he's a receiver. You know, that's how I look at it. Like. A guy like John o. Smith, honestly, if, if if I was coach, I'd try to use him as a receiver as much as I could. You get some mismatches, you know, uh, on some DBs when it comes to blocking and physicality and, you know, then as well linebackers, you know, you line them up correctly. But, uh, yeah, y'all let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe, stay tuned, stay Bless. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Ain't no need to play games. I'm cool with zeros on this, that sheet. I don't care if you knew Patrick Mahomes. Them lies you tellin' won't get past me. If it's meant to be, I'm not gonna ask for a second chance. I'm only gonna ask you once after that, then it's out my hands. I'm not gonna question, just accept it, part of God's plan.